Hello and welcome to another edition of DSP Tries It, and this is an oddity. This episode is basically something that I had absolutely no idea ever existed. I don't know who brainstormed this, okay? <laughs> so the other day, I was on the internet, and what I do is periodically I actually check the local uh, food places around here to see if they have new products for me to try for DSP Tries It. And I go to the Wendy's website. I see the weirdest thing. Stone Cold Steve Austin and Ralph Macchio standing in an ad advertising barbecue. I said, barbecue? It's, it's October. It's, you know, it's, fle it's freaking October. Why on earth would there be barbecue on, in October at fast food? It doesn't even make any sense, right? That's like a summer thing you would do. But I don't know, it was really odd to me. So I'm like, what are they selling that's this new barbecue? It's barbecue pulled pork. So right now, you can get one of three different pulled pork things. There's a standard barbecue pulled pork sandwich, which okay, that's typical, right? There's a barbecue pulled pork fries, which is basically a stack of fries covered in melted cheese, barbecue sauce, and pulled pork on top. That sounds pretty messy and weird. And then they've got what we're trying today. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the barbecue pulled pork cheeseburger. When on earth did you ever think you would see someone stack barbecued pulled pork on top of a fast food cheeseburger? I did not expect this, okay? Now, there are three varieties. As you can see on the front of my box, it says smoky. There's three different kinds of barbecue sauce that apparently they are using uh, in these different uh, kinds of sandwiches. There's spicy, there is smoky, and there is, um, what was the other one? Spicy, sm oh, sweet, sweet. So three completely different flavors of barbecue sauce that they're putting into this, okay? I chose smoky because I said, well, hey, if I'm gonna have a burger, I kinda want a smoky barbecue. I don't want too sweet and too spicy. It doesn't really go with a burger. But the question presents itself. Why do you want pulled pork on top of a burger. Like, I totally understand the pulled pork sandwich. In fact, if you guys watch DSP Tries It for a while, a couple years ago, Burger King had one, and I tried that one. So the question is, what are they thinking? So anyway, let's look. It's on a brioche bun, as you can see. As you lift the brioche, you're gonna see some kind of coleslaw piled on top a stack of barbecue pulled pork on top of a piece of cheese on top of the burger. It's just bizarre. <laughs> and by the way, I do have to say this. This looks nothing like the picture that they show. You know, that thing is stacked like this, like insane, a giant pulled pork portion on top of a huge burger. This is like basically a burger with a little bit on top. It's nothing to, you know, wow, I'm so amazed there's so much food there. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try it. The barbecue pulled pork cheeseburger with smoky barbecue sauce from Wendy's. You can get this right now if you so desire. There's All right. no lettuce on it. Nope, it's coleslaw. They figure that's your yeah, probably your veggie. Yeah, the coleslaw. So is here we go. This is gonna be interesting. Let me get my napkin ready here because I can already tell I'm gonna get all over myself. <laughs> all right. Look at that thing. All right. Jesus. Look at this. Barbecue oozing out of the side. Okay. So first of all, you know what? Before I even bite the burger, here's what I'm gonna do because as you can see, a few pieces of the barbecue pulled pork fell. Of course, it's gonna be messy. It's pulled pork, right? I wanted to try it's just a single piece. It's actually pretty good, it's juicy, and unlike the, bar the Burger King one I ate a couple years ago, it actually tastes like pork. That Burger King one just tasted like fucking gross sauce. This actually tastes like pork. All right, so now let's actually take a bite of the burger. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. The reason I say that is because, first of all, there's two distinct flavors here. You can taste the saltiness of the beef, but you can also taste the sweetness of the pork. But the weirdest thing about this sandwich is the coleslaw, because it's actually crunchy coleslaw. It's not like that flimsy coleslaw that is more like lettuce. This is actually, as you can see, I think it's like I don't know if it's pieces of some kind of a, a broccoli or whatever, slaw. 
but it's crunchy and it's weird to have a crunch like that on a burger. Usually I would expect, I've had burgers with slaw on them before, but not like this. So this is kind of weird. All right, I'm gonna take another bite here and try not to make a huge mess. Hmm, it's probably crunchy to balance out the fact that uh, pulled pork is very soft and, and kind of chewy. I guess having a soft coleslaw would be kind of, it'd be just too mushy overall with the textures. Well, here's my overall opinion on the burger. I think the pulled pork is good. I think the coleslaw is good. I think the problem here is that pulled pork and coleslaw don't go with beef like this. Because I'll tell you right now, the overpowering flavor I'm getting from every bite is salt. The saltiness of the meat, the saltiness, probably a little bit of the brioche bun too, but primarily it's that meat flavor. It's like two... Two flavors are combating. Do you want the sweetness of the pork or do you want the saltiness of the beef? What's the meat that you're supposed to be focusing on here? And it's confusing. It's a confusing burger. I would like to maybe go back at some point and try just the pulled pork sandwich and see how that tastes in comparison to this. Because I tell you right now, like I said, just eating this pork, it's moist, it's juicy, it's delicious. And a whole sandwich of that might be good, but the combination of that with a burger, I don't get it. Um... By the way, it is expensive too. If you just get, I believe the sandwich itself is around $5. The combo was $7.19. So, you know, $2.19 or whatever extra. So it's about $5 for the sandwich. And uh, it is a meaty, heavy sandwich, let me tell you. It doesn't look like the picture, but this is a heavy sandwich. You eat this, you're gonna be full. But at the same time, it doesn't make sense. I say, if you're gonna try this, maybe you go try the pulled pork. And I may, in the next few weeks, try just the pulled pork. This doesn't make sense. The flavors are good, but they don't go together. Too much saltiness overpowering the flavor of the pulled pork, and it really makes just, it's a salt sandwich instead of a pulled pork sandwich with burger too. So I'm actually gonna give the Wendy's pull, barbecue pulled pork cheeseburger with the smoky barbecue sauce a two out of five. It's not, I don't really think it works. It's not a bad burger. It's not that it's not gonna fill you. It's not that it's a bad value. The fleet. The flavor doesn't make sense to me. Either give me the pulled pork so I can savor the flavor of the pork or the burger, not together. So I give it a two out of five. That's a no-go for me. All right, that's it for this episode of DSP Tries It. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.